Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have part two of the Bride and Groom party gift ideas covering the best man, Usher, father of the bride and father of the groom. So moving on to the groom party, so Ben kind of covered this himself and got all the gifts he wanted to get for everyone. So this covered the Ushers, the best man, the father of the groom and the father of the bride. So with regards to the ushers, before the wedding he gave them all superhero cufflinks I think he ordered off of Amazon. I'll put the links down below to the ones he got. He also got himself superhero cufflinks. I think he got Captain America ones. But that was what he was into and that's what he really wanted all the green party to have. So the gift he gave his best man and ushers on the day which was after the speeches was a hamper. So I'll show you the basket um, that he used. We got these all from Hobbycraft again and we got these for the ushers, the best man like I said and also the father of the bride and the father of the groom and inside they were filled with their favourite bottle of alcohol, um, a beer glass, a mug and then just something that was personal to them um, that Ben wanted to get as well and also they had just a little bag of sweets and I think the father of the groom and bride had little bars of chocolates in and things like that. So you can um, make a really cheap hamper and just put in loads of goodies again that you would think they would like. So you can make this really affordable. The hampers themselves, I think they were about 10 pounds, um, but they were just a really nice idea because you could strap them up so nothing came out and they just had a little handle here and then we also bought um, some stuffing to go in them as well just to pack them out. So what I said about the personalised alcohol, so Ben bought um, bottles of alcohol for every person in the green party that they thought they would like and then for the best man he actually got him um, this bottle of alcohol, put a picture in um, so you can see it and that was also in engraved and he got that from a guy who did engraving on bottles of alcohol and he can put whatever you want and it looks really lovely and it's something they can keep even when they've drunk the alcohol after and this came in a lovely wooden box as well and you know what, thinking about it, I think he got all the alcohol personalised but just the best man one came in the wooden box. So he gave that um, as a separate present as well as the hamper. And we managed to get these mint green bags, gift bags that came in all different sizes, actually from a charity shop. Um, and they were perfect because they were sort of wedding colours and they looked really wedding-y. And he popped the alcohol in these. So we also had a couple of people um, who did a reading and also um, a couple of friends who were witnesses in signing the registrar so we also got them bottles of alcohol and put them in these mint green bags just with a thank you card and then um, a tag um, with their name on so we didn't get them mixed up. So all the gifts sort of tied in together and just look really nice and just were personalised to that person. So for the father of the bride, which obviously was my dad, I also got him a little gift um, on the morning of the wedding, just like I did for my mum. And men I find it really hard to buy for anyway, but I wanted to give him something that he can keep and treasure um, and also frame after. And I got him just this little personalised hanky. It just had a little poem on it and it was embroidered in our wedding colours. And again, I got this from Etsy from another really lovely lady. They're also helpful on there and I love that they're handmade and things like that. Um, and you can choose your poem, whatever colours, I think, and font as well. 
Um, and she just did exactly what I wanted and put the date and everything and I was able to give that to him on the morning of the wedding so he could just put it in his wedding suit um, just as a little gift that he could have by his side kind of throughout the day and then after I actually framed that hanky and just put a picture of us both in the wedding car when we were going on the way to the wedding so that's just a lovely personalized gift again and we did a lot of personalizing our gifts because they just um, mean that little bit more if you can afford to do that but on the whole Etsy was really great for these kinds of gifts um, just bear in mind that if you are ordering from America from Etsy which we did a lot of just remember to order quite far in advance so you know that your gifts are going to get there in time so lastly I just want to quickly touch on the groom and just give you some ideas of what I got for Ben. So before the wedding I actually got him a personalised hanger that just said groom in wire. I got that off not on the highstreet.com again. They had loads of really good ones and they were really masculine and it was just a nice thing so he could hang his suit on. And then for um, the day, I got him a watch that I had engraved on the back with our date and just a little saying. And then I also made him this book. So it was just a scrapbook of all our dates we've had throughout the years and things like that. And this is, again, a really sort of affordable option if you can't afford to stretch um, to buy sort of a big gift for your groom or anything then just make him a little scrapbook it's something that he'll appreciate and he'll be able to look back through um, you know throughout your marriage and things like that so this um, scrapbook I just got from Hobbycraft it took me forever so make sure you start it well in advance but it just got loads of little different things in it and scrapbooks are really popular now I'm actually going to be doing a scrapbook for the whole of our wedding and just putting in invitations um, from our wedding and things like that and it's just a really nice thing to keep that you can open once in a while and just show people if you've got people coming round. So guys thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Hopefully I didn't confuse you and maybe I gave you some ideas on gifts for your wedding party if you are getting married this year. I will also be doing lots more wedding videos just because I'm married I'm not going to stop doing wedding videos so look out for DIYs and tips and tricks and things like that. Also don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat for more inspiration and if you missed my last two previous videos you can go ahead and click on the picture links. Have a lovely week guys and I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye!